This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Take your hand, put your thumb to the base of your pinky and bend it forward. Now look at your wrist. Can you see a small tendon? This is called the palmaris longus. 88% of humans have this, but 12% do not. It's one of many different physical characteristics that can be present in a human. This is my human. And I was wondering, how rare is it? You know, I've filmed 100-year-old gibbon hands, giant tiger skulls, and massive Malaysian jungle nymphs. Lots of rare, special things. But is this human special? Is it rare or just ordinary? Let's find out. We'll check a handful of physical characteristics, write down the results, and in the end, multiply them together to calculate the rarity of our human. You can test your human too. It will be fun to see if your human is more rare than mine. When writing down your results, remember to write percentages as decimals. Let's begin. Hi, human. Hey, do this for me. Hold your hands up in the air, then grasp them together. Good job. Now look at your thumbs. Which thumb is on top? Did you place your left thumb on top? If so, you're like most people. If you placed your right thumb on top, that's a little more rare. Now take your thumb and hold a thumbs up. Does your thumb stop here? Or can you bend it back even further? Most people can't do that. Keep looking at your thumb. Does it look like this or is it shorter and wider. This is called a murderer's thumb, or if you're a doctor, brachydactyly type D. It occurs in 2% of the population, very rare. And strangely, this lady. Now look at your thumb even closer, specifically the shape of your thumbprint. For this exercise, we'll use the right one. There are three basic types of thumbprint. First, you have arches, where the ridges of your thumbprint form a little hill or mound. Then there are whorls, where the ridges spiral around the center of your thumb. And finally, loops, where they come in from one side and loop around the center. Which do you have? Loops are the most common, then whorls, and arches are the most rare. In a private location, if you are comfortable, examine your toes. Look at your second toe and big toe. Which one is longer? Most people have a longer big toe. Fewer people have a longer second toe. Now that we've got the hang of it, let's rattle off a few very quickly. Is your earlobe attached or unattached? Does your ear have a preauricular pit or no pit at all? And finally, can you bend your thumbs backwards to their wrists, bend your knee joints backwards, or put your leg behind your head? My human cannot, but if you can, it would look like this. Now, take all of those percentages you gathered so far and multiply them together to calculate the probability that your human would have all of those traits at the same time. We'll call it your unscientific, comparative, subjective rarity. I've got my number right here, but before we compare, just remember, these are just a few traits. Your human has thousands of more traits that can make it unique. Like mine. He went outside once, and he liked it. He learned how to snap with both hands. Once, he got first in Mario Kart. And he wears hats, sometimes because he likes them, but sometimes because he's keeping a secret that he's not ready to share yet. Is that rare? It's fun to compare these numbers but they're just a nice exercise. So remember, no matter what you get, there's no one alive who is more you than you. And that makes you pretty rare. With that being said, here's my number. My results are in the comments. I'd like to see if we can find anyone with matching stats. Hey there, I got some more traits and their relative rarities that you can check on your human. But uh, in the meantime, I have some obligations that I need to fulfill. So I'll share them with you alongside this Squarespace ad. So Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create their own website. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. 
manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. You can create a community, schedule posts, put them behind a paywall, and even set up an e-commerce store. So it's pretty much like your own personal Patreon, which is kind of neat. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash odd animal specimens to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.